Especially because now we're bending all these rules and names and terms and all this bullshit. It's yeah. like the, the, no people. I think we, we, there's such an escapism from like the true nature of of, of men and women. No, right. I, people don't want to talk about it anymore. Like it doesn't exist. It's like, a denial of biology. It's yeah. so crazy to me. Well, it's almost like this whole fucking Kavanaugh thing and all this shit. And I don't want to even get into all that fucking it's a diatribe and nonsense, but. The one thing I will say that I don't think anybody talks about is the sexual and social psychology of men and women. Nobody wants to talk about when you are developing as a young teen, especially a boy, and you're learning about sexuality and you're confused and embarrassed and scared. And the way that men and women interact in that year from in those years from like 12 to like 16, it's insanely unstable because women are not as uh not as hormonally aggressive technically at that time than men are right so these men are fucking hormonal freaks and they want to do things with these women but they're not supposed to kind of and it's like kind of okay and they don't know how to do it and there are these weird blurred lines of women want to be accepted and cool in their in their circles so you know it's like when someone hooks up with someone early on when two, two people hook up young and it's like ooh and it's sketchy and weird and sometimes the girl gets labeled a slut you know what mm -hmm. I mean? For no, for no reason, it's like, oh, she's a slut. Like, I remember there was a girl in my, when we were, what, um, juniors, and she was dating a senior, and they had had sex. <gasps> You're right. And it was like, she's a slut. It's like, she's not a slut. Everybody wants to do this thing. But there are these weird subset rules. But every guy that does it, that's just what we want to do. But I don't, we, there's no explanation over, like, how we got to the point of getting comfortable there because men are just these horny freaks that don't know what to do with the thing. So... There are so many blurred lines of sexuality and relationships at that age. Nobody wants to talk about it. Well, it's also the Puritan culture and religion, all right? There's right. two things that set women up in this terrible place where if they give in to their hormonal urges, they're somehow tainted. Right. You know, You're when bad. I was in high school, everybody knew this, and I'm sure you knew this too. Everybody knew Catholic school girls were the biggest fucking freaks. First time I had anal. Catholic school girl. Holla! Yep. <laughs> First and second time. Because they're they're suppressed. Yes. They're, you're making diamonds, okay? Yep. You're taking that pressure. carbon, you're putting it under a mountain, yeah, and pressure. a fucking diamond's going to come out of it. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's Catholic school girls, right? Yeah, and it's all over the country. Where'd you grow up? Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Jamie. Columbus. Yeah. Catholic school girls. Oh, I went to Catholic school, so yeah. Oh, talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, that some of them... Uh, J yeah, be they, nice. They, be nice, they but... like what they wore underneath their jumpers. Sometimes they had shorts on. Sometimes they did. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> there, was a, there was a marked difference... Suppression. Right? Between Catholic school girls and regular girls. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, I, the public school girls around me it would, is a whole different thing, so... Most of them are private school girls where I was at. So. The biggest freak that I dated during my high school years was a girl. It was a wonderful girl, but she went to an all-girl Catholic school. Of course. She was suppressed completely. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So when you hold someone in a cage like that, what do you think is going to happen? It's like, of course, when they get out. They they're get gonna, out they, like wild yeah, animals. They're going to go nuts. This girl was nuts, man. She was wild. But that's, but that's, so, that's what I'm saying. No yeah. one wants to talk about... And again, I'm not trying to dive into the Kavanaugh bullshit, but people are young and they do fucking crazy sh shit when you are hormonally at your beginnings and you're confused and weird. I mean, guys know when guys start masturbating, it's this disgusting, weird, secret, creepy, gross, sad, like mm. undercover secret. Yeah, that you don't tell your friends when you're oh, in high you're school. Oh, you're so panicked. Off. So, and all of that is swirling inside your head over sexuality. And then when you do get a chance with a girl, it's uncomfortable, it's awkward, it's weird. Again, I'm not talking about whatever fucking he did. I'm just saying, you're already in this weird state of men are fucked up when they're sexually reaching this new peak of their life that they just want to like jerk off and come and fuck. And, and how much information are they getting from their parents? Zero. Almost none. Almost none. Almost none. Almost That's none. That's the thing. How much guidance are they so getting? So you don't know borders. You don't know rules. Right. You don't understand. And also, our society perpetuates, if you want to be real fucking honest, our society perpetuates this weird pull and push of like, you know, no, I don't want... You know that fucking song, Baby, It's Cold Outside? You know no. that song? How's that go? The Christmas song, baby, just stay for it uh, and really should go. It's cold outside. It's a Christmas fucking song. What uh, song is this? You know what it is. Jamie knows do what the I fuck we're talking song? about. Yeah, you do. You it's, sure? It's a Christmas song and it's it's called Baby, It's Cold Outside. But the Christmas whole... song about rape? That's what it's 100%. About. It is. Really? It, no, I'm dead serious. The, the, here, he's playing it. Can you play it on YouTube or will we get in trouble? I really can't stay. Uh, yeah, I can't really. Is it an old? 
just trying to see if I could find her. Oh, it's a, oh, oh, I do know the song. I do yeah. know the song. I really can't stay. Yeah. yeah. She's saying, I got to go home. My parents right. are going to say, the whole time he's like, come on, just have one more drink. Just stay out a little bit oh, longer. Oh, he's trying to fucking lube her up. Yes. And by the way, <laughs> she person. ends up staying at the end because she, she wants to be with him. The game. And, right. So the thing that nobody wants to fucking talk about at all, and I'm not, again, I'm not fucking saying anything other than this is a perpetuation of our culture for a long time of like this pull and take and tease a tease is a game that women play and men play too of like you know look at that i really can't stay it's cold outside <sighs> gotta go away this evening has been uh so very nice my mother will start <laughs> to worry my father will be pacing the floor i'd rather i'd, ra I'd rather uh, i'd really better scurry maybe just a half a drink more that's her uh, finally admitting the neighbors might think what you know uh, what's say what's in this drink ah you're very pushy you know I like, like to, to think, think of it as opportunistic. I simply must go. The answer is no. The welcome has been so nice and warm. My sister will be suspicious. My brother will be there at the door. My maiden's aunt maid is vicious. Well, maybe just a cigarette more. So no, so she's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, God. Bam. Okay, fine. Another drink then. then. That, took that took a lot, a lot of, of convincing. convincing. Okay. That's the last word? That took a lot of convincing? Yes. How weird. So what I'm saying what is, is that shit. This, oh my god, this got to be the 1900s, 40s, 40s maybe. People just rape people. For 50s, right 52. 52. 52. Nah, but he wasn't the original. 44. My point is, this shit has been going on forever, <laughs> and right. it's fucking real, and nobody well, okay, wants to talk about it. But that had nothing it. to do with the Kavanaugh thing, right? And here's the thing about the Kavanaugh thing. You we, know what you, I mean by that? I, oh though. no, I do yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but here's the thing. But, but even the fact that you have to be defensive right there, like yeah. everybody has to go. This is what I'm saying. Right, that's right, what I'm saying. Right, right, I'm not right. supporting rape. I'm right. not supporting rape. Even discussing <laughs> it at all, people are ready to fucking hit you in the head of course, with a rock. Of course, there's no there's conversation a, to be there's had. There's a woman who had a brutal take on it. A brutal. There's, there's, uh, there's two ways we can look at this. There's a woman who had a really brutal take on this. Leah. That was on Jordan Peterson's uh, Twitter page. If you go to Jordan Peterson's Twitter page, there's a woman who is, uh, I don't know what she does, but she talks about how this woman who is accusing Brett Kavanaugh goes to this predominantly, or she teaches at this predominantly women's college where 79% of the students are women. Yeah. The majority, the vast majority of the professors are women. And social justice is the number one thing that they promote at the school. Right. Ahead of education, ahead of everything. When you look at the school's like list of like what it, it aims to accomplish and how to educate the students, like promoting social justice is one of the primary things. It's the, the first one Hi, yeah. above everything else. And, and the idea is that why would this woman risk everything? And the, what this woman's take is, who's criticizing this, is that she's not risking anything. She's rewarded from this. In, 100%. in her culture, this is a big deal. And she's very cynical about this. She's like, this woman has no recollection, doesn't remember how she got home, doesn't remember where the party was, but does remember that someone may have tried to do something to her. You know, I'm not a big fan of of criticizing people who come out and say someone did something to them or try to do something to them. Right. Because you don't know. You don't know. You're on the outside looking in and you're, you're, you're trying to pick holes in their story. I don't even know if they know. Because I don't rem I don't. Here it is. Yeah. If you, if you click on the video, you, you can hear some of what this woman says. Like, click on it and play some of what this woman says. Eh, we don't have to. Notably by the lifelong friend who supposedly accompanied Blasey Ford and Presumably, might have noticed and remembered. She sounds sounds like, like Jordan yeah, Peterson. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think I can play that actually. It would no, probably fine. get kicked off. Yeah. yeah it's okay. But the, the the point is that it, like there's only two people that know what really happened, and they don't even know what really happened. Well, you're talking about something that happened 35 fucking years ago. I mean, if he if she said 35 years ago this guy raped me, okay, that's yeah. a different story. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. But this is not what she's saying, right? What is she saying? My, from what I understood, and by the way, this is something I distanced myself from because I, I was just, it was so overwhelming that I was like, oh God, that he held her down while the other dude was in the room and he kind of helped him held, hold her down and he had his penis on her or... Did he, is that what he's saying? What, like, let's, let's find this because people got super mad when we talked about this the other day. Like, you should have done research for you discussed a predator. I'm like... Is, but see, that's what's really fucked up. I'm not supporting. First of all, I'm not supporting him anyway. I'm, no not, I'm not standing there. No, no, but are. either none of us. But that's the thing is like when you talk about it, someone goes, "You're what are you? What are you in favor of him?" Exactly. It's like, what the fuck are you 
I just you have to have a conversation about what's going right. on. Otherwise, I'm j I'm but just the a idea fucking is that numb. This is a giant platform, and that if we're discussing in this giant platform, we should be informed. I disagree with that because I think that we're just having a conversation. Yeah, we're just you talking just, about something. You just happen to be privy to this conversation because millions. I'm not pretending I'm some sort of an expert or that I have some sort of information that you don't. That, right. that if you have those misconceptions, let me clear those up right now. I'm a fucking moron talking to another moron <laughs> well, yeah. next to another moron. <laughs> There's three morons in this <laughs> yeah. room. They're all dudes talking. Okay, just we don't chatting. we don't know jack shit. Nah, you know. I know what I I know I know my feeling of the whole thing. I know the feeling of the whole thing is that no matter what anybody, it's kind of like uh, what got in trouble for Norm. You know, when Norm when McDonald got in trouble. No matter what, I think both, here, here both what people are suffering in a bad bad way. Okay, hear what it says here. Um, it was surely the most explosive and surreal confirmation hearing since Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill in, in 1991. A nominee from the Supreme Court was asked if he was a gang rapist and a blackout drunk while defending himself by describing how long he preserved his virginity. His accuser described him grinding, grinding into, into, me, into covering me, her mouth, covering her mouth, and fearing that he was accidentally going, going to, to kill, kill me. me. Okay, well that's pretty fucking serious. So if he was. If he was covering her mouth because she was protesting and he was grinding into right, her, right. that's some pretty dark shit. Fuck yeah. So that, that keep accusation- Keep going down a little keep, bit. Yeah, keep scrolling down, please. Unlike Miss um, Hill, 27 years ago, Dr. Blasey, a psychology professor in California, was treated gingerly and the public comes who feared. Okay, this is blah, 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 blah. But, but, but that, okay, so that was the- Thursday, was, she became a very human being, telling a terrible story about Judge Kavanaugh in compelling terms that brought many women to tears and transformed the battle for the Supreme Court. Okay, well, see, that's all I needed to hear. See, that, the, the kind of person, now look, I don't know if he did this, but if he did do this, the kind of person that covers a woman's mouth. Yeah, that's crazy shit. That's an extra level of darkness. Yeah, you're right. That's not like trying to kiss her. No, nah, trying to rape grinding her. against each other. Covering someone's mouth. Right, that's rape. If he really did that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's yeah. all true, that's what that is. That's him trying to hold her back from something. So uh, Donald Trump said this, uh, you know, he, this famous quote that it's uh, a tough time for boys. You know, know man. it's this a tough guy, time for guy. boys. So a girl r made a song. I've, that's, I heard that song. The song is actually very it's catchy. It's a great song. It's a good song. And I, I'm going to tweet it, but I'm like, when I, when I was about to tweet it, I'm like, people are going to get so fucking mad at me. Um, her name is... Uh, on Twitter, it's Mercedes L Y N Z. She has a beautiful voice, and the song is, it's a scary time for dudes. Scary time for dudes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I listened to it a few times. It's really good. I mean, maybe we could play a little bit of it. Mm. Can we play a little bit of it, or we get kicked off of Jamie's YouTube? Jamie's like, nah. Uh, Jamie's just shaking his head. Shaking his everything. fucking head. It's it just that it would get tagged because I'm sure she's trying to monetize. Oh, it she's probably got a billion her, views. So. so anyway, her Twitter page. Listen, you know, and this is the thing, men in particular, you're going to hear this, you go, oh, you're fucking supporting this, anti-men, fucking male bashing shit. But give me, just give me a little volume. I can't open up my windows when I'm home alone. I can't go to the bar without a chaperone. I can't wear a mini skirt if it's the only one I own. I can't use public... It's, it. look, it's, she's just going on about how difficult it is to be a girl and when you're not a girl, it's not something you consider. And so all these guys that are so like, it's a yeah, lot of good truth. Well, she, she's, she's like, I can't live on the first floor. I can't just leave my window open at night. Yeah, like all these yeah. things are fucking very, very true. And it's a good song. And she's got it's a, a great beautiful song. voice. Yeah. Listen, th this is the this is the whole thing that I think we're we're talking about. You're allowed to see to see truth on all sides of all of these issues. I don't think you ever have to be so staunch about anything. I disagree with people that are so staunch about just being like, this is the end of, of the discussion. You're only this way or not. It's like, no, man, I don't know all the stories. I don't know all the truths of, of that Kavanaugh bullshit. I don't know all the truths of anything. That woman coming forward, I tend to believe a woman that's going to go out of her way. I don't think she's looking for fame. I don't think any of the girls that came out for Louis were looking for fame and attention. No one wants attention to have their name Googled and come up with this for the rest of their life. So I, don't, I wouldn't say that. Uh, see, I don't. I, I wouldn't say I, no one. I, I think most people don't want that kind of. Okay, okay. You know, you know what? You most know who does. People. Okay, you know who does want that kind of attention? Uh, the psychopaths. With the Donald Trump, uh, what's her name? The fucking Stormy porn star. Daniels. Okay, yeah. 
I think she all she wanted was attention. I'm sorry. I, I like well, she I fucked a guy consensually, and all she did was make fun of his penis. Like she wants money. Yeah, no you shit. Know, okay, she's, so, so she's making money from it, and she's like in her forties, and yeah. she's still stripping. It's fucking sad. It's it's not. But good. these other and women, Doctor Ford, and these other women, yeah. they're not doing it for the fucking attention. They don't. She doesn't want. She's doing that because there is a truth in there of what happened, and I believe that. I don't know what it is, but I believe there's something fucked up that went down, and unfortunately, we are in the middle of this. What what can be done? Who who knows? How do we? There's no physical evidence or rape. Or, well, like, it's, it's also this weird this, gray area. Like, what am I supposed to do? There's also this deep understanding of the flaws of the human memory, both his and hers. Totally. When you're dealing with 35 years ago, if you tried to ask me, you know, what happened when you and this girl were making out in the back seat of a car 35 <laughs> years ago, like, good luck. 